Folks, we've come to that time again. It's lockdown time. Now, do you remember that video I produced previously when I dressed up as Santa Claus and was wearing a white beard and I told you all the stuff that you need to get to make sure you have a nice jolly Christmas? Well, this video is going to be a similar kind of vibe, but of course it's a different time now. Many of you might have a month off from work and perhaps that's a great time to get in those saxophone chops, do lots of practice, be reflective about what's important to you in your life and that may well be the saxophone. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to go through a few bits and pieces that we sell that could come in handy for you. So on my right, starting with these highly popular sax mute ones, they do a great job of halving the volume of your saxophone. And if you have trouble with your neighbors, with your wife, whatever it may be, this could be the answer for you. So you might wanna check out my separate video on these guys, but this is a brilliant mute system. And talking of mutes, if you don't want to spend a few hundred pounds on it, you could go to just a very simple uh, sponge design. Uh, we've got three sponges in here and they slot into various parts of your saxophone and mute the saxophone to a lesser degree. Um, but still, if you only want to spend 30 or 40 quid, then this could also be a solution for you. Now, the wind synth. That's been a hot topic of late because we've had the very popular Yamaha YDS150 uh, wind synth out, which has completely sold out and we're waiting for another batch to come through. Uh, so I can't be sure of when they're gonna be coming exactly. Uh, but in the meantime, um, this is um, an equally popular and very well-known brand, the Akai Iwi 5000 I have in front of me here. So beautiful wind synth, this one. And of course the advantage of, of the wind synth is we can play it completely silently at home plug in the headphones and off you go, um, as well as continuing to get adept at your saxophone technique and just losing yourself for hours. So that's the Akai Iwi 5000, brilliant stuff. You could just go for some basic, um, you know, goodies like a, a saxophone strap. Perhaps it's time to treat yourself for a nice comfortable strap. And talking of straps, this one's a Rico padded strap, does a great job, but I always hark on about these guys. This is the Balam strap. And it sits somewhere in between a harness and a regular strap in the sense that the um, distribution of the weight sits onto the shoulders as opposed to around the nape of the neck. And it doesn't have this contraption that goes around the back that makes it feel like you're about to go on a parachute jump, as is the case with certain harnesses. So I think this is a great compromise, the Balam strap. Here's its packaging. And here is one I prepared for you earlier, my own Balam strap. And what else have we got down here? Yes, a, a, a lovely new product. This is a product by Edgeware, um, and they um, produce brilliant maintenance equipment. It's uh, above and beyond all the regular kind of cheapo stuff, if you like. They really put um, a lot of thought into selecting non-toxic ingredients, producing the, the stuff with the environment in mind. It has environmentally biodegradable packaging. Um, if you spray this onto your saxophone and you accidentally ingest some, it's not going to cause an allergic reaction because it produce, it's produced using the body's natural antiseptic. Um, so uh, a great product, a little bit more expensive than the regular stuff, but in these COVID times, perhaps it's worth uh, being conscientious about the stuff that you put down your saxophone. So that's very good. That's sanitizer by Edgeware. I have a Reed Geek here. Um, I'm sure we all know about the Reed Geek, but maybe this is the time to start uh, thinking about how you can get more life out of your reeds. Uh, you know, it's often the case that you might get three or four reeds in a box of 10, and what do you do with the remainder of them? Do you bin them? Well, that is a waste of money, folks, and you can easily rectify those other uh, five or six reeds and make them at least playable if you start to learn the skills necessary to use a Reed Geek. So, great little product, that. Um, and talking of those kind of great little products, we have the Key Leaves um, device here, which slots into your bottom uh, C E flat key area and prevents your G sharp key and your E flat key from sticking. Two really popular keys to, to stick. Um, sorry, I should say C sharp, G sharp, and E flat. Yes, they're the, they're the nasty ones that always cause trouble on your saxophone. Um, so yeah, I've done a whole separate video on the Key Leaf stuff. Really brilliant stuff. and. Um, if you're going to be practicing a lot during this lockdown period, you want to make sure your saxophone is in tip-top condition. This will do the job nicely. Now, I'm going to do an unboxing for you because we have an exclusive, ta-da, 
This is the new Yamaha Red Limited Edition Vanova. We all know about the white ones, and there was a, a while they did um, a sort of run on some yellow ones, I believe. I've not seen this yet, so let's commence the unboxing. Okay. Oh. There's a case with a cellophane bag around it. Right, here we go. Let's just see how red this is. Ah, that's a blooper. This was supposed to be a red limited edition Vanova. Folks, I'm pretty sure that's white. So here is the white Vanova, not the red one. And it's really just like a very simple saxophone and it has a saxophone mouthpiece and it has open hole fingering. So it kind of plays a little bit like a recorder, it has a nice recorder like slightly saxophony sound. Just a lot of fun really. So there we go, that's that one. And on my left here, we have some books. I really like this guy, Greg Fishman. He produces a great series of books. And you know, if you're into your jazz, trying to get more adept at uh, playing jazz, he writes some great books with some lovely uh, lines and with CD backings. And you can really learn about your jazz um, harmony and language by studying some of his stuff. There's, there's plenty of books uh, by Greg Fishman that we, uh, that we sell. This one is the Etudes Volume 4, so we run volumes 1 to 4, and there's all sorts of other books by him. So great stuff. Anything by Greg Fishman, it's brilliant. Um, or you may just wish to have a slightly easier time of things. Um, Hal Leonard jazz play-alongs, a lot of fun. I've got smooth jazz for you right there. Um, and of course, the best of Kenny G. If you're into Kenny G, this one's a good one. Now, what else do we have? Ah, another new product that a lot of you may well have seen over the last uh, couple of weeks or so, the new Legere American Cut Reed. I'm gonna do a video on this a bit later on in a week or so, but in the meantime, this is what it looks like in its boxed up state. Um, this is a brilliant addition to the Legere range. And perhaps again in lockdown, this is a good time to experiment with this kind of thing. Remember synthetic reeds um, like the Legere reeds, they last about 10 times as long as a regular reed and they sound better and better the more they invest their time into researching um, you know, the characteristics of how sax players want a reed to perform. Legere are doing a cutting edge job uh, on that side of things. So brilliant new reed, the American cut Legere. Um, perhaps it's time to buy a straight tenor during lockdown, just for something quirky to impress the wife. There you go, I'm not going to demonstrate it right now. Sounds like a tenor. Doesn't really look like a tenor, but it is a tenor sax. It's great. Well, maybe it's time to take up the baritone. Perhaps you already play alto tenor and you've always wondered about this guy here. And if you fancy going for that extra octave below and broadening your saxophone palette, the baritone could be the answer. This is just a simple Elkhart student instrument, which does a great job actually. It's nicely in tune. Um, but uh, if you fancied forking out some more and going for the sort of top end exquisite side of things, Yanni Gazawa do a brilliant job on baritone saxophones. So that pretty much completes the range of goodies that I can recommend to you for lockdown. All I can say is Happy practice, I'm very jealous. I'm gonna be here beavering away selling you guys stuff. So I want you to call me up in a month's time and tell me that you're a much better sax player and that this was really useful for you and you've now got all this gear and it's servicing you very nicely. And a final thing to mention folks, we've been working on another kind of pop song type cover. I'm not gonna reveal what it is, but it's utilizing a couple of quirky instruments, shall we say, and that should be coming out in the next two weeks or so. It's gonna be a lockdown special cover for you. Watch this space. I'll catch you in a week or so on the next run of videos.